This video is brought to you from the folks at Emotiva. Maybe it's time to rethink high end. Hey, I'm Andrew Gash for Audioholics. We haven't reviewed a remote control in quite a while, and there's a good reason for that. With a few minor exceptions, there hasn't been much movement in the residential remote control market until this year. This is the Logitech Harmony Ultimate and the Harmony Smart Control. Now, Harmony busted onto the scene several years ago and was bought up by Logitech. The strength of the Harmony brand of remotes was always the extensive database of AV equipment. They controlled everything, and they did it without you having to program a single button. You just added your devices and set up the activities based on your gear, and you're done. Simple, quick, reliable? Well, that third one, not so much. But then Logitech added RF capabilities and IR repeaters, and things got much better. This new Wi-Fi meets cloud software is their best yet, and it's only fitting that the company revamped the remotes as well. They've really brought them up to speed, particularly with the expectations of our smartphone toting society. I mean, look at it. What you've got is a beautifully designed remote, and it has a new 2.4-inch color touchscreen that lets you tap, swipe. It's really cool. And it has vibrating haptic feedback for the buttons, which means that when you press something, you know your command has been recognized. Now, I lost my old remote in a lightning storm. Quite tragic. Really, it was just a mess. Bottom line is that while I can't complain too much, I was slumming it in the area of remote controls because my gear is located remotely in a closet. So to get me up and running, I had rigged an IR receiver and a transmitter and was using six different remotes. With the Harmony Ultimate, well, I'm back to pressing a single button to activate everything I need. It is so nice. But let me back up because it only took me about an hour to configure everything just the way I wanted it. Now, yeah, I could have been up and running in 15 minutes or less, but I'm pretty particular about how I want my theater room to respond to commands. The new My Harmony website, awesome. Basic setup was completed in five steps. You connect the hub wirelessly to your home network, assign your devices, create your activities, and then download that information to the remote or the hub via USB. And then, of course, you test it all out and you're ready to go. Now, in my theater, I'm controlling a Denon AVR uh, 5308CI receiver, an OPPO BDP-103 Blu-ray player, uh, a dish hopper with sling, Xbox 360, Epson Pro Cinema 6010UV projector. I'm also controlling a Karata Masquerade screen with built-in masking system. What's really cool is that I was able to extend one of the two included IR emitters to the theater room, allowing it to control the Epson projector. The only issue that I had was that the emitters are actually using a 1 16th inch connector instead of the more popular 3.5 millimeter. So they don't fit any of my existing extenders. Oh well, regardless of that, when I pressed the button, everything worked. Seriously, I mean, the first time, everything worked. Once I had everything properly set up to use the right inputs, the system just worked. Easy as pie. I liked it so much, I grabbed a Harmony Smart Control to use in my two-channel living room system. That setup is a little bit more convoluted, and I needed to mess with the order in which things came up, as well as the input delays. But that's what I like about Harmony. You can customize those things when you need to. After some tweaking and reordering, I got things to work much more reliably than with any other off-the-shelf control system that I've ever tried. Now, Harmony's IR-based systems are finicky, but with the Harmony Ultimate and Smart Control, Logitech really nailed it because I didn't have any issues with IR emitter levels, delays all seemed to work properly, and everything snapped into place fairly easily. It's a very simple system to set up, and it's even easier to program. For $349, it may be the one component in your system that brings you the most satisfaction. And while the Ultimate provides an excellent touch screen interface, if you just want a simpler remote or you want to use your smartphone to control your system, then you can save $100 and pick up the Harmony Smart Control or just the $99 Ultimate Hub. Both are excellent and incredibly feature rich. So, what remote control system do you use in your home theater? Are you using individual remote controls? Are you uh, consolidating your system into a more universal solution? And what technology is behind it? Uh, uh, RF, Wi-Fi, IR? We're curious. 
So let us know by posting a comment in this video or posting a photo to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash audioholics. Also, of course, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can keep bringing you video reviews. I'm telling you, man, this remote is really awesome. I swear it controls like everything. Everything? Everything. I tested cool. it out with my, well, like I said, I'm just player, wondered, you know, like and... <laughs> <laughs> it really does control everything.